All right. You guys sent this to me. I guess we're doing a round three of this Colleen Bean versus Lily Tino situation. Just so you guys know, a quick little rundown. Uh, Colleen here accused Lily here of inappropriate behavior. We looked through it. There's two other videos we already looked at. I'm probably going to post this on TikTok. I'm going to probably just post a TikTok reaction to this, though. And the YouTube, I'll post the YouTube reaction because there's more, quite a bit more than I could probably fit in the TikTok. But anyway, basically, the Colleen Lily has an OF. Lily made an OF. Lily asked Colleen you know, if she wanted to do OF. Colleen didn't want to, and that's where it ends. And then this turns into somehow the behavior was coercive, she claimed. Could never prove that. In this video, I already watched it she, <laughs> offline. And she now accused it of rooming behavior. I don't even think that she knows what this that is. I don't like the, the Colleen girl, or excuse me, the Lily girl. I don't like her at all. She's very unlikable. This is this person. But the reality is, is that if you're not mature enough to set a boundary for a thing, you shouldn't be doing the thing. That's it. If you have an OF and you don't, you don't know how to set a boundary to say, I don't want to do this with you. If somebody asks respectively to collab, then you are not mature enough to do that. If you are in a relationship and you don't have the maturity to set boundaries, then you're not mature enough for a relationship. If you go out to eat with your friends and they consistently don't pay when they're supposed to, and you don't have the ability or the maturity to say, to just push a boundary or to draw a boundary out, you're not mature enough to have those friends. The reality is, is like we live in a world where you have to constantly create and affirm your boundaries and there's going to be reasonable and there's going to be unreasonable people or uh, ways of pushing those boundaries. This was not unreasonable. Somebody asks you if you want to do OF when you have an OF and you say, no, you are not assaulted. It's time to grow up. And if you can't handle that, then you shouldn't be doing OF. You're not mature enough to be doing that. That's just the reality of the situation. When we talk about the weakness in the world, which is happening, it's not when conservatives complain about, oh, I have to I care about safe spaces or pronouns. That's cringe. No, you're cringe. Okay, that's not how the world's getting weaker. Okay, there's nothing wrong with being empathetic uh, and, and respecting people. The way that the world's getting weaker is that we don't know how to set boundaries for ourselves within a reasonable way. There was no threat. There was no coercion. There was no grooming. There was none of this here. And yet we're still sitting here having video. this debate over and over again where she's now going to make a part three to try to justify her wrong perspective on this topic, which does nothing but belittle actual abuse victims. That's where we're at. I don't like Lily. I now Completely do different. not like this Colleen person. Video number one, I was sympathetic. Video number two, I was getting tired. Video number three, I'm fed up. It's enough is enough and you have to stop. And I know that she's afraid of me because she blocked me. The second that I got tagged in this video, because what happened was yesterday I was sitting and watching on my phone. <clears throat> I was sitting and I was on TikTok and a banner came up that said somebody tagged you in a video. I saw her face in it and I was like, I'll watch it. Watch through the video. My wife asked me like, oh, what were you watching after I finished? So I went to go back to it. I was blocked. So she's sniping comments, which you can, like, is very obvious. And she's afraid of criticism. You need to drop it. Enough is enough. This is annoying. This is frustrating. This is embarrassing for you. You're not going to be able to retell this story in any way that makes you look like you're in the right. You have to stop. When you make the unlikable person look more likable, you have failed. You need to stop and you need to grow up or you need to stop doing OnlyFans. That's what it comes down to. And if you're somebody that's affirming of sex work, then you should be critical of her because she's making people that do sex work look like they have, they're have they incapable of being mature enough to actually handle the situation. So this whole discussion is not affirming to sex work. It's not affirming to anything. It's stupid. And she needs to stop. Make other content. Get back to your old flow. Because the more you talk about this stuff, the more people are going to criticize you for it and the more wrong you're going to look. I'm not interested in the people who look at your content and go, I believe you, Colleen. I, I, I don't. Those people very clearly don't have the ability to parse through information in a particularly intelligent way. They watch you because you're a pretty girl that does OnlyFans and there's no depth to why they engage with you or your content or care about you in any capacity. That's the army or excuse me, that's the, uh, that, that, that's the follow, followers that you've generated is just people that go, oh, a pretty face. That's it. As you continuously, in my opinion, continue to diminish actual survivors of different actual predatory situations. And so I'm a little amped up right now. So you need to stop. You just need to stop. But let's see her, let's watch through her, you know, a ridiculous video doubling down on her being wrong. Nine person.
sexually harassing me. Last week, Lily Tina made a video completely denying her sexually harassing me. And if you're wondering yeah, why it, she didn't. it took me so long to even respond to that, I this... I'll get to that in a second. Let's but here's quickly why her response was just laughably bad. Lily felt her response was they had a conversation. This is what happened because I went through all of the stuff. She's going to pick and choose what she shows. I've already gone through everything. Um, Lily messages this girl, Colleen, is talking to them about a work slash fun trip. She seems interested in general. Lily wants to talk about it on Discord in front of this girl's partner as to not violate a boundary calls on the discord says that they want to do of content this girl's with her partner and again i believe lily when she says she did it in front of the partner because she didn't want it to seem like it's shady or backhanded and then then she said no and then it ended there that's pretty much the short end of it that's pretty much it um okay i i mean asking somebody to do of content seems a little more sensitive than just a silly little dm so she wanted to discord call you it's not that deep it sounds like a respectful doing failed to mention that she led me into a discord call under false pretenses led you into a discord call under false pretenses is by every objective metric an incorrect way to interpret this situation which shows that you're either lying or you're mentally incapable of correctly analyzing this situation she said she wanted to do a a, a fun trip that could double as work and then she got into more detail in the Discord call. When you got to the Discord call, you weren't magically overcome with magical entities that made you feel coerced into doing the uh, the sex work because you just didn't do it, which means that there was no threat. You didn't show us any threat. You didn't record any threat. There's no, You didn't even really say there was anyone. Coercion means that she threatened you and you use that word and it is inappropriate. You're trying to add loaded predatory language into this situation when you're wrong. You felt uncomfortable and you felt that just because you're uncomfortable means that it must be bad. People get uncomfortable every day. People unintentionally make people uncomfortable every day. If you don't have the ability to exist around people, to consider their perspectives, their thoughts, and their interpretations of events, then you're not mature enough to interact with anybody. Stay in your house and don't interact with anybody but your wife. It's time to grow up. Like We have to be tired of this stuff. It's time to grow up. This is insanely immature. These are basic human interactions that are happening every single day. And you guys are having, well, she's having an absolute fucking meltdown over this. Led me to a Discord call. It's a fucking Discord call. That would be like if I, somebody asked me, they said, oh, hey, man, can I talk to you about something? I, I need help with something. I was like, all right. Oh, let me call you on the phone. They call me on the phone. They're like, hey, I need to borrow money. Did I just get led into a phone call or did somebody just feel that this was more sensitive and wanted to be able to explain themselves more articulately? So they phone called. You can't, you literally cannot um, describe tonality of voice in a fucking text message. This is a problem, okay? So people will talk on the phone because you don't just communicate through words, you communicate with how you say particular words. So they wanted to talk to you on the phone basically because they wanted to be able to be able to communicate themselves in a more effective way. That's the most commonsensical reason that they would be doing it, okay? Is there a possibility it was predatory? Sure, there's less than 1%. Now show it. You can't. You didn't, and you still don't when you show us this video. When her real motives were to film porn with me, she were up. She wanted to do work with you. Work. Work. When you do OF, you are saying that porn is work. This is work. You don't get to, you don't get to play both sides. You don't get to play the side that um, looks down on sex work by saying, well, they want to do porn with me but then also be one of those workers. You don't get to do both. You get to have the conservative perspective that it's all bad while secretly subscribing to a trans person's OnlyFans, or you get to have the affirming perspective where it is now work. That's, you don't get, there's no, you don't get to play both sides. You don't get to, to, see, to take the morality uh, or, or like the mora moral sensitivity of you know a, a weekly church going priest while performing this type of work. You can't, these, these perspectives don't morally align with each other. It is a form of work that you are engaging in. You doing work that blurs the lines between work and also an intimate act is what you want to do. And if you want this to maintain, if you want this to still be a uh, something that you can actually do for money, legally then you cannot have this perspective or you're just telling us that we shouldn't have it because situations like this are too much for you to handle. This perspective leads to people saying we should get rid of this type of work.
up front, I would have said no immediately. She didn't mention that I said no or I can't three different times. And even okay. after that, even after I said- I don't even know if I could trust you because you're a very clearly, you're not a good narrator of the situation. You've, you've, you've shown yourself as an unreliable narrator. I don't know if you said no, 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 I'm not going to do it. And she's like, oh, you better do it. Or if you were like, ah, I don't really know. And you're in that maybe state where they're like still open to advocation. I used to, I, I used to comparison like this before. Like, let's say I went out with my wife and I gave her a spending limit of five. Five hundred. I'm gonna do the exact same one. Five hundred bucks. That's my boundary. I've said we go out. We spend the five hundred dollars. She says, "Oh, I want this on top of that, which is gonna put us to six hundred dollars." I have three answers. I could say absolutely not. I could say absolutely, or I could say I don't really know. If I do the I don't really know, I'm opening myself up for her to advocate for herself because I'm saying that you have the ability to sway me here. Like I don't know, maybe. Okay, well, let me advocate for myself as to why you should spend another hundred dollars on me, right? I don't know the specifics, but again, you're such an unreliable narrator that I can't trust your word. You use the word coercion. You showed nothing. One, you can't use that language and expect me to believe you. You said coercion. Nobody's called you out on it in any meaningful capacity. Coercion is a threat. You said that she coerced you in the first video. That dropped in the second video. I no longer trust you when it comes to your ability to parse through information because either you don't know how to or you're using intentionally deceptive words to try to um, you know, emotionally load the situation so people agree with you. That's a problem. Said no to doing porn. She still sent me a link to the porn studio and said it would be mutually beneficial. The okay. entire video, she didn't even mention OF or even spicy content once. Instead yes, she did. What are you talking about? We knew the situation going in. What? She mentioned it as a different kind of content. Okay, that's probably just to maintain some kind of uh, guideline friendly perspective on TikTok. It could be very finicky with what does and doesn't get taken out. I recently decided to start making a new kind of content. And was very we know the implication of what they're saying. We're not stupid babbling babies. We know what they were, they were saying. And the only way that you would look at Colleen's video, or excuse me, at Lily's video, is if you already came from your video. There was a response. So you already know what's going on. Very nonchalant about saying it was normal for content creators to collab. It is normal for content creators to collab. They do it constantly. Which is true for something like TikTok. But it's sure for anything that is content. It's much more sensitive when we're talking about making literal porn. It's not, actually. It's not more sensitive. Just to be clear, most porn that you watch is two people doing it together, just so that you know that. It's not more sensitive. It's not more, less realistic. It is actually very common for this to happen. The overwhelming majority of this type of content is that. Again, it's okay that you don't want to do collabs. Grow up. Say you don't want to do them and move on. That's all it, it all comes down to. Stop pretending that this is so much worse than it is. It's exhausting. For the record, collaborations are super common among any kind of social media creator. Yes, that is true. This kind of content or other kinds of content. Yes, this that's one true. Me. She edited the word OF out of her screenshot. That shocked you. It shocked you that she edited uh, the, the, the word OF out of her screenshot. That shocked you? That's shocking to you. That's shocking to you? It's shocking when, you know, your partner cheats on you. It's not even on my radar when somebody censors out a word that could get their video taken down, especially coming from Lily's perspective. She has to defend herself against you. Lily is a hated creator justifiably so frankly who has false accusations leveraged against her she needs to be more careful about the way that she communicates because her video matters more than yours people are just agreeing with you because they hate her that's literally it she has so her video getting taken down can be no risks she has to censor she has to imply she can't be absolutely explicit but we all know what she's talking about because again we're adults and we know what's going on just to be clear. So the, the, all these like, oh, it's, it's shocking to me. Really? It's shocking to you? It shocked you? That's the moral weight that you're going to... I know you think I'm harping on a small point. This is the language that's used. Shocking. It's not shocking to anybody with a fucking brain. But she wants it to be. She needs to over emotionally overload the situation as much as she possibly can to communicate a point that doesn't exist. That's all it comes down to. <laughs> The one that I actually posted to my video itself, uncensored. I received a DM from her partner, which Colleen also mentioned in her video. She'll probably say it's for TikTok terms of service. Yes, because it's a good reason. But here, let me just put that message on the screen and okay. watch nothing happen to this video. It doesn't matter. There's no, if your video gets taken down, you don't lose. She needed it to be perfect. If she got it taken down, her entire defense mechanism is dead. What are you talking about? There's nothing wrong with being sensitive to the community guidelines. You're being ridiculous. Lily was trying to sanitize the entire situation. To no, she wasn't. Make herself seem innocent. Like I no, she wasn't. I got many comments after that. She even, like, her response to your wife telling you that you were uncomfortable, which, again, grow up, that your wife has to tell people, what, are you at a fucking restaurant and they forget your, you, they forget your sauce or they add pickles? Wife, can you please tell them? Which, by the way, I do. My... 
grow up. You should have reached out. That's another point of it. If you were uncomfortable, you should have said, this made me uncomfortable. It's time to grow up and be adults. You had your wife advocate for you is an immature tactic. You should have done it yourself. And it's just constant. It's just constant patterns of immaturity from this content creator. They're not mature enough to advocate for themselves. They're not mature enough to set boundaries for their OF content. Like, how do you exist in, in the world? You know, like, how is How do you exist from day to, to the day to day perspective? It's a very real thing. People need to learn to advocate for themselves. There was no threat upon your body to not be able to advocate. You waited, what, months? Finally, your wife sent the message. And then the next day you came out with this video like, oh, she did this to me, blah, 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 blah. It sounds like you wanted to just come out with something and you wanted a response from her to see what she would say, to see if you can catch her in something or try to manipulate the information to display it to people to make her seem like a bad person is what it seems like happened there. They come back to my video being like, oh, I didn't even know that Lily was even talking about OF until I saw your video. And I nobody, nobody thought that that has a fucking brain. I don't believe that. And if they thought that they need to go to the, the hospital right now because they're having a fucking aneurysm. I've been frequently asked why I even went public in the first place because Lily had such a well-written response, right? But the reason I even went public was because I knew that immediately after I went public, Lily would publicly act like this. Right. And also, I had no idea they were monogamous. Most trans people I know are poly. What's wrong with her saying that? So let's say, OK, I haven't looked at that person's OF account. The last person that was on here, my understanding is that they've done collabs before and they alluded to such. They said, I don't know why something along the lines of in one of the videos, they said, I don't know why Lily would ask me to do this. I haven't done collabs with trans people before, which implies you've done collabs with cis people. Who cares? She's monogamous and she could have just said no. And fine. Yes, that is exactly. Even if you are monogamous, you could still ask the question because you are an adult that can set boundaries. Hey, uh, do you want to collab with this? Oh, no, I'm monogamous. Okay. Were you violated? If somebody asked me right now, somebody who doesn't do OnlyFans, if I wanted to collab on OnlyFans, you know what I would do? No, thank you. And I would just not do it. I wouldn't feel violated. Okay. And ironically, people, you'd be surprised how many people jump into my DMs and ask me to make an OnlyFans because they think I'm attractive. It's mostly um, gay men because I think I'm a bear, which I am kind of a bear. I'm not offended. I'm not sitting here getting, I mean, it actually makes me a little uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie. But like, okay, they're not, vi they're violating me. They're violating me right now. No, I'm an adult. I just ignore them. But if they ask me in person, like, oh, no, I'm not. if they ask me in person, I think, no, that's okay. I'm not, that's not what I want to do. It's very simple shit that you can do. Very fucking simple. Thank you for the time on sub from Sophie and Alexandru. All this seems to be a big plug for her, their OF. I kind of agree with that. You know, again, and I don't mean to be rude, but this person's content is pretty dry it's mostly a pretty trans girl and that's why they plug their OF. that's what most people do when they have an of they use the, the socials to plug it there's nothing particularly deep about them and their content that's what this seems to be almost it's like i don't really have content to talk about i felt uncomfortable here i'm going to sensationalize that so that for social media attention in some capacity part of her probably believes half of what she's saying because we are too sensitive on the internet and again it's okay to be empathetic but this oversensitivity is a problem Right. Where we go, we, we just start spinning into narratives. Right. But like, and I think that that's part of it, though. It's an attention seeking thing. People want attention. People seek attention. Everybody wants attention. I want attention, but they want attention at any cost. I want attention because you think that what I'm saying is intelligent at the very least, or you appreciate the way that I communicate myself. Right. So I think that it's a factor. It's more complicated, but I think it's a factor. I mean, if you're wondering why I haven't responded till now, it's because you had to craft a response because you sat here for a week crafting a response that sounded good. And this is the best you came up with. The day I was going to respond last week, I was contacted by another victim named Cassie. Who you're not a victim so you can't say another victim and considering what you showed us communicates to us that you are not a victim using a moral assertion that they are one based on your ability to parse through and interpret information is something that's almost impossible i will i cannot believe you i'm gonna watch the full youtube video and see what we got here but so far you're not one so it's doubtful that she's one who was tied up in this entire vegas situation too her situation is very similar to mine except for her lily stopped what? groomed and refused to take no for groomed what's grooming off the top of your head, does anybody know what grooming is? Grooming is a deeply intense, uh, intentional, methodical process of setting typically a child up for typically sexual exploitation. Can you groom an adult? You can. Can you groom people for other things? You can. You can do that. Okay? And we're talking about predatory grooming. It's old vernacular to use the word grooming. Like, I'm going to groom you to be the next CEO. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about predatory grooming, right? You can groom an adult. 
it's much more difficult because you have to be in a very deeply uh, emotional state where you're prone or open to manipulation. Cult-like behavior, that's like grooming. Okay, you can groom for non-sexual behavior. We're not talking about that because this would be what she's claiming is sexual grooming. Grooming tactics are insanely deep and insanely predatory. They are things like trying to cut off your ability to communicate with friends, family, any loved one, any other person, to isolate that person, to generate a dependence onto a specific person through not just that emotional means, but possibly financial and physical means. It is a very deep, deep, deep process. You need to show us that, and it's hard to believe because, again, she asked you about OF in front of your partner, from her perspective, which I believe, again, to be respectful to your relationship dynamic, so it didn't seem like she was sneaking around. So what does grooming look like? And stalking, what does stalking look like? Is stalking, oh, she followed my OnlyFans, or she followed me for a while and then talked to me? That's not stalking. There are people who follow me who reach out to me and be like, I like your content, sometimes other creators. Are they stalking me? No, stalking is when you sh when you watch somebody in a very malicious, bizarre way, obsessive way to try to, I guess, ascertain information in some capacity. Stalking is I'm outside of your house watching you. I know where you go to work. I know what time you're working, even though you don't tell anybody. I know where you work. I know what time you get off. I know what people that you're with. Stalking, okay? Stalking, especially since all your followers have probably had a bad breakup, and this is a woman behavior, just, just to be clear, where you're constantly looking at your ex. Oh, it's my ex. It's fine, by the way. It's fine. I do it sometimes, but not really anymore. More of a female behavior, which is nothing wrong with that. Is that stalking? No, that's keeping tabs on somebody. So, like, you got to show me what stalking is. You can't just use words that you want to, that you, that feel. I feel, it feels stalking. It feels groomer. For an answer countless times to the point where on Lily's live streams, I was tricked because Lily was publicly saying that she already had someone to go to Vegas with her after I said no. How are you tricked? What do you get tricked into? If she's like, oh, don't worry about it. I already have someone else. Don't feel bad. How does that trick you? Referencing Cassie. Turns out Cassie never said yes. So I've been okay. trying to say no, and she keeps pushing for it. It was strange, though, because on her TikTok lives... I'm going to watch it, but again, I can't, it's unreliable narrator here. It sounded like you were a shoe in to go. Yeah, no. One of the primary reasons that Cassie okay. said no. So did Cassie go? No. So this other girl's like, oh, I have someone else lined up, and that person wasn't as lined up as they thought. Cool. Oh, it was because of medical reasons. Only which Okay, cool. Try to be like, oh, why don't you stop this medication? Why don't you stop that medication? Look so just to be clear, I'm going to read this because the interpretation isn't quite accurate. Again, I've already watched this. What did you say? We only get one part of the, I need the whole conversation because, you, cause, you know, again, Colleen down here, she tries to make it seem malicious in her interaction with Lily and her. But when you watch the, see the whole thing, it seems perfectly reasonable. So here's Lily. What did you say before? It's uh, been a bit of a journey. I didn't catch that. Also, uh, is it progesterone that makes you motion sick? And then she sends a voice message, which we can't hear. Oh, I wonder if you went off it for a few days before flying, if it would make it easier. Oh, okay. Longer message, LOL. I'm listening as they come. We could also just do a phone call. I don't know the context of their conversation beforehand. Here's another thing about setting boundaries. Sometimes you need to set boundaries very firmly. Okay. And I'm going to say something that's even hot. This is going to sound a little spicy, and I do not mean for it to be transphobic. But Lily seems like a more masculine trans person that may have some more masculine qualities, which is a very big conversation about getting, um, what is it called? Uh, you know, growing up one way. What is it called? Socialized. Getting socialized, growing up as a man, and then transitioning into a woman. Trans women are valid. I'm just saying that it's actually an experience that's difficult for some trans people, where if you go the first 18 years of your life socialized as a man, and then you transition at 19 or 18, you don't all of a sudden know what it's like to have every female experience, right? Because you were socialized as a man. And it's one of the struggles that can, uh, that can uh, negatively impact um, trans people. The reason I bring it up is because men are stupid. And I'm not, Lily's not a man, but like men need very direct yes or no's. That's one of the problems. That's actually the biggest conversation when it comes to talking about sexual assault culture in, is that a lot of the times men are very dumb and they don't know workarounds. And I'll give you an example of what I mean. Let's say a guy and a girl are hanging out one-on-one. -on -one. They are even interested in each other. And a guy goes, oh, you want to go back to my room and we can, we can make out? And the girl says, no, I want to stay on the couch. To the girl, that is like, oh, I'm not interested. To the guy, oh, you want to make out with me on the couch? I'm just saying it's one of the things that could be a problem. So you're giving us, if your communication here is like, oh, I don't know if I want to go on a plane because I get motion sickness. 
Lily's response might just be like, oh, maybe you, here's a solution. Because that's another thing, you know, always solutions. You know, my wife's always like, I'm having this problem. And I'm like, oh, here's a solution. She's like, shut the fuck up. I just want to vent, right? Can sometimes be different communication pathways. Sorry if it comes off as transphobic. Not trying to be. I'm just trying to be accurate about what I'm communicating here. I need to see the more explicit no, because I know now I can read between the lines. When I was younger, I was a fucking idiot. I can't, re I couldn't read between lines. Do you think that I'm not, I, men are not emotionally intelligent creatures, okay? It's just the reality. So like, we need to see more like, no, I'm not interested, like stop asking me kind of like boundaries. But these, in, these indirect like, oh um, no, I'm not, you know, or not even though like, oh, well, I might get sick on the plane and I don't know. That's not enough to communicate to everybody that that's, that's, a, that's a no. You have to be understanding and respectful of different people's perspectives on the world here when you're interacting with them. Show me the coercive behavior, the grooming behavior. That's more important. Lily, someone should not have to stop their medication to have sex with you. That's ridiculous and predatory. It wouldn't be ta stopping the medication. So I don't know exactly how that medication works, but I know that I'm on a GLP-1. I'm on Monjaro. I take it once a week. I get a little sick the first day. My appetite goes away. And then by the next time I take it, the next week, I'm feeling better and my appetite is higher. So that's why I need to take another one. If that medication, whatever shot they're taking is similar to that, that means that at the beginning of the shot, let's say it's once a week. I don't know. Once a week, you'll be more sick. So if you delay it by a couple of days, you might not get as sick from taking the medication. Very simple stuff. Like anybody that has any life experience and knows how some of these things work would understand that that's what it means. Again, if they're saying I might get sick on the plane because of my whatever med uh, medication or whatever hormone I'm taking, that's not a no. So Lily, that might just be like, oh, well, help, let me help you problem solve. Blah, 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 blah. She basically didn't believe that I was telling her that it is quite severe to the point where I don't like traveling. Lily had subscribed to her OF for months prior. Who told cares? People in the Discord, including me, about Cassie herself. Who cares? She's followed an OF. I, I don't understand this perspective. Who does, Who falls for this? Oh, she was sexually attracted to the person she wanted to collab with on OF. So now we have another creator who does OF that Lily asked to do OF. Like, do you... I just want to just... Quick question. Do you think that people who do OF together are unattracted to each other? I don't understand. Who Like, it makes sense. Oh, they were attracted to me. They started an OF, so they wanted to ask me to do it. Am I supposed to find that predatory? Like, I don't really understand. Who else would you do it with? Again, you're opening, if you're doing OF, you're opening yourself up to be asked to do this content. And when Cassie was being called out by Chris Tyson on Twitter, for being <laughs> Chris Tyson. Too trans, which I think is freaking ridiculous. Lily swooped in all friendly, saying, come to our Discord server. We're friendly here. We'll understand you. And okay, what's wrong with that? And not too long after, asked her to go to Vegas to do porn with her. So what? What, is this the grooming? Uh, a scumbag, Chris Tyson, let's just be real. Ava Chris Tyson now. Criticizes a trans person. So your group collective of trans people who have an experience that's sometimes negative, because you literally admit it to us. Lily gets relentlessly bullied. Some people think it's justified. I'm not saying I. <laughs> but you said you were sympathetic to the fact that they were constantly bullied. So you are part of a community intentionally of trans people that get bullied because you have a common experience that you can relate to them. So another trans person is getting bullied. So this person says, hey, like we have a community of trans people that were getting bullied for our transness. Would you like to join? And do you think that that sounds predatory to us? And then the step further is like, hey, we're in a community now. I just started an OF. And this would be a time later, by the way. You want to collab with me? Did she threaten to kick her out of the community if she said no? Because then that would be very that would be extraordinarily inappropriate behavior because now you're threatening somebody if they don't do that's that could be considered coercion can you show me that or is this a situation where you became friends and then she's like eh, maybe i'll do OF with my friends which would make sense to do OF with your friends because you might be more comfortable with them you see how easy it is to interpret these like a normal human being She's been aware of you and has been following you on OF for quite a while. And I'm going to assume that's the grooming, by the way. Which is not. That's crazy to know she knew who I was before that day. She talked about it. Like, she talked about it multiple times. Oh. Who cares? Oh. On a Discord. Oh, she talked about it, yeah. Who cares? What? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. That changes everything. How does it change anything? This sounds like you're trying to convince them that they're a victim, by the way. 
and we've only watched 15 seconds of their video, which is what you mix into here. Why hasn't she told me that? And I even told her how this happens to me all the time. Like, people, I'll meet like a set of friends, right? Mm -hmm. And then the second one of them gets me alone, they go, hey, so um, I actually watch your content. And then I'm like, oh, so you're trying to fuck me. <laughs> and, and so even if that was true, that's fuckboy behavior. And it's not even close to the coercive grooming that you're implying. So we're not even going to talk about that. Because we're not there. We're not on the moral line of like, you know, that's kind of fuckboy behavior. To We're not even there. You said coercion and grooming. We're not even going to, we, we can't even talk about that. Because this is not, we're, we're not, you, you've overloaded this situation. Often, and I'm like, oh, this is the exact same. But this is the first time it's happened to me with someone like Lily. I honestly hate to think what could have happened to either one of us if we did agree to go to Las Vegas with Lily. You think you're going to get like violently assaulted? Like what is, what's the implication there? What, what is it based on? Nothing. So you're a, you're uh, you're insinuating that Lily would have harmed you because no actual evidence, reason, or anything to even consider that true. And just because me and Cassie are trans sex workers, it does not mean we do not deserve respect or boundaries. You do deserve well. After, so just to be clear, this video makes you not deserve respect. You do deserve respect and boundaries. It's a reasonable. You have to assert your boundaries, and it's reasonable for her to ask. Enough is enough. And Lily decided to break all of those for both of us. Because she didn't break a single boundary. What do you? I don't even know. You didn't even show us her breaking a boundary. She asked if you want to do OF, and you said no. You haven't shown us anything because she wanted to have sex with us. Okay, great. So we watched that absolute dog shit. Let's watch. Um, let's just check out the YouTube video next. Uh, I'm gonna watch it on YouTube. I'm not gonna put that on TikTok. So apparently, the alleged victim, Cassie, here is 23. So uh, it's going to be a tough sell that they were groomed. But let's see what we got here. Let's start this. Yeah, do you remember when like I complimented your eyebrows at all? Just okay. Just when, just after I you think, got your eyebrows done. I think so. I think I do. Okay. Just after you got your eyebrows done, mm -hmm. that's when Lily started me up. Yeah. And um, she basically was like, "Oh, come to Vegas, and I'm going to grab you, and she's going to come to Vegas too." <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What? What? Yeah, she told me. Wait, wait. That what does she? What does she want? I th a foursome because she, she invited JC too. Did she want like a foursome? Like what is? Oh, did she? I don't because JC was. In but you don't know that. It sounds like she continuously got rejected from everybody that she reached out to. It sounds like she just started an OF and really wanted to collab to springboard her career here. Invited and like. Yes. What was she? Wow. I, what is her? What was her plan? Holy shit. She was like, oh, I'm talking to you. So now, just to be clear, this is an insinuation that she was trying to lure them into a predatory force foursome. Now we don't know. It sounds like she constantly got rejected. So you're probably, you know, like you're trying to sort out some uh, citizen, Canadian citizenship crap, but you probably got to come over to Vegas and you might, you might not, but you might be. And then yeah. she asked me to come and I was like, oh, well, um, I get really dizzy and I hate traveling and things like that. I get vertigo and all this. But then she's like, but, but how are you getting nausea? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I, if I roll over and be too many times. So just to be clear, this is when, so she's, she, this is what we're hearing now is Lily asked this Cassie person to go with her. Cassie said, oh, I get nauseous on a plane. That's not no. That is, to an emotionally intelligent person, that might be like, a, oh, it sounds like maybe she's not interested. But that's not a no. That, that, you know, so again, to some people, you need more than that. And, you know, in all honesty, I, I just want to be absolutely clear. And again, because these are difficult to talk about. If you look this up, there can sometimes there is a bit of a comorbidity of people with autism seem to have a higher chance of having um, the being trans. That's not something negative. There's nothing wrong with being trans. There's nothing wrong with being autistic. But somebody that has autism can sometimes have difficulty parsing through information, especially um, when it's not very direct. Like I've tried going on dates with girls with autism and it doesn't work out. I'm very sarcastic. So if you're dealing with somebody that potentially has autism as well. That's just an additional layer of them not necessarily being able to interpret indirect no's. I'm not saying that they do have autism. I'm just saying that there's like a lot of different factors that have impacts here. No, what? What do you mean? That's like, like some people get nausea on flights. What? Yeah, I get nausea. Yeah, like, what? Like, like being on a flight, like a 12 to 17 hour flight is like how long it's for me. It's, like, I'm it's a long about not flight. Long. That is a long flight. Yeah, and I'm... I'm not the most healthiest person in the world. I mean, my body's that sickly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I don't really like doing this. Why would I come over? <sighs> and she's like, oh, well, you know, you can like, you can jump in all my live streams and, and, and this and that. And then, and then we could film together for OnlyFans. And there's a dungeon that I've talked to and we can fire it because people might know who we are and okay. blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, she, she basically didn't 
believe that I was telling her that it is quite severe to the point where I don't like traveling. So again, this is our maybe situation we talked about earlier. When you're not saying, no, I'm not interested, and you're like, well, I get sick. You're opening up like a room for a maybe. You're opening up room for advocation. No, stop asking. This is what you do. No. Oh, but stop asking me. Oh, but then you stop engaging with them and then you're done. That's it. That's an adult. That's what an adult would do. Like oh my god. Very tough. That's horrible. Like, like and then and then so once you wouldn't take that as a no, I said I don't have a passport. That wasn't a no. You're not even saying no. You're saying you're being into oh well, I don't have oh well I get sick on the plane. Oh well, I don't have a passport. Oh, that's not no. Did you just say you didn't have a passport just to get her off your back or Well, I I'm I'm actually renewing it. Um Oh, okay. Like but I actually, I have it in my hand now. Oh, so it just wasn't in your name, but you had one, right? Yeah. Well, or it just needs to be renewed because you have to renew it every 10 years, but okay. Okay. But I do now. Like, sort of that out now. Oh and in the meantime, like, it was a few days after she messaged me. And I was like, oh, by the way, I've just applied for my passport. Blah, blah, in case, like, I don't know. <laughs> in case she wanted to come over to you. I don't know what she is. Maybe. Who cares? Anything, but the part that really concerned me was that she was like, come to Vegas. It felt like she was saying, like, come, like, in three days time type thing. Three, like, ASAP. <laughs> It felt like, it felt like, okay. Yeah, like, yes, actually, yes, that's the word she that's, used, ASAP. That's why, so this is how kind of fucked up it is. It's not fucked up at all. You guys are babies. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm in Canada. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so <sighs> I'm from the U.S. I'm from Florida. I moved to Canada specifically to be with JC. And Lily well, we knew that, obviously. We, like, been talking for, like, ever. JC was in our Discord server before I was even there for, like, two yeah. months before. Okay. And then I joined, and, like, she knew our entire deal. And yeah. so I'm here I'm here in Canada, and okay. right now I have a work permit. So I'm, I'm good to stay here legally till May of next year. In the meantime, okay. I'm applying for my permanent residence so I can stay here permanently. The thing okay. is, if I leave the country, my work permit goes null and void. I can't okay. use it anymore. Yeah, and you so, really fine. Well, the, pro the problem is that I might get stuck in the U.S. again when I have all my like life here in Canada. Okay. I'm not sure if you're aware, and but like I'm not entirely sure even how myself. But apparently, a lot of people don't like me. So I'm like, I don't know why. I'm liking you both less and less every moment that I'm listening to this. And my work visa might have expired. And okay, so then you say no. Stop asking. So like, I don't know. So here's the thing. When uh, Lily was first talking about you, she was mentioning how Chris Tyson said some weird shit to you. But was she talking to you at that point, or like, would it, like, when did she start talking to you? That was that was practically the first. I don't know how that came up as the very first thing we talked about, but it was. My, this probably because you're both trans and experienced transphobia, and so you connect upon that. This is my theory, and I guess kind of correct. You were in a vulnerable spot. Oh my fucking god, you're in a vulnerable spot. Look at this. Always applying a predatory narrative to them. And Lily swooped in there. Is that yep. Predator, you are in a vulnerable spot, and that means anytime someone interacts with you when you're vulnerable, they are a predator. Just to be clear, all of us go through vulnerable moments, and in every one of our vulnerable moments, or sometimes we want to be reassured or have some kind of companionship. When I'm feeling vulnerable, I want my wife. When my wife is feeling vulnerable, she wants me. Am I able to manipulate my wife's vulnerability to extort something I want out of her? Yes. Am I able to comfort and console my wife to make her feel better and reassure her? Yes. The existence of you being in a more vulnerable state doesn't mean that somebody is predatorizing you because they show some kind of positive affirmation. It's much more likely that you were having a relatable experience to her of being uh, attacked with transphobia. And so she's like, hey, I know how that feels. And let's like connect on it some kind of a level or a layer. It's really, do you see how easy it is to be a normal fucking person here? It's not that deep, bro. It really is just not that deep. Uh, does that sound about it right? Yeah. And the, yeah. Were you aware that she used to follow you on OnlyFans? Who cares? I noticed, I went into OnlyFans because I do like, I reply to messages like once or twice a week. And I went into it and I noticed that um she had subbed and she actually paid a bunch of my PPVs. I'm just, I'm just kind of in, in shock right now. Who cares? The way I feel about Why it. Why is this shocking? What's the problem with subscribing to her OF? I started talking to Lily back in like, I think, April or something back April? when she was being like canceled for something and what she said was pretty accurate it's like yeah I try to get th I try to get her through this like hard part of her life but then so then you reached out so then you're a predator so that you reached out to Lily when she was emotionally vulnerable um to predatorize her by your logic that's what you did I mean okay that's why it caught me so much off guard because I was trying to just be like a supportive person I never Whoa. expected her to stoop so low to, to do what to ask to collab for your work even asking me that 
like before like when she was talking about like oh like yeah maybe we can this is for real if you're ever a friend with this colleen person don't be anymore same thing with this cassie moans person they don't know how to set boundaries if you don't know how to tell your friend hey that was too much then you shouldn't have friends what sounds like is you got slightly uncomfortable with lily and since you don't have the ability to actually communicate yourself to people in a mature way you cut off an entire relationship because of that and then since that person is hated on TikTok and really any social media platform, you were like, oh, I can make an easy view video. Really what it boils down to. Um, do like a little trip or whatever. In my mind, yeah. I was thinking like, you know, I'd be open to meeting Lily in the future. Yeah. But I wouldn't want to be uh, like, I wouldn't want to be like doing content though. I would so then just tell her that. Just want to like hang out. I don't, so then just tell her that. I don't know if you even were aware of that. I literally said that to Caleb Hammer yesterday <laughs> in a stream. I was in a stream. I like Caleb, the financial audit guy. I think he's cool. I literally said that to him. He, he, I was in a stream reviewing his content, like doing like a segment on like the person that he was talking to. And he popped in. He said, hi, I like Caleb. And I was like, oh, maybe we should get together. Well, somebody in the chat was like, oh, would you want to collab with Caleb? I'm like, not really. I don't really necessarily want to do a collab. But I was like, I would meet up with the guy and hang out with him. And he's like, oh, if you come out to, to me, I'm going to get you barbecue. <laughs> you see how easy that was to set that boundary? Hey, I would like, I would, I would meet, I would hang out and meet up. We survived that interaction, by the way. We were okay with it. Caleb and I are friendly. <laughs> it, were, it was fine. So say that, grow up, be an adult. This is what being an adult means. It means growing up and setting firm boundaries with people. This because it kind of happened after, like before you came. Do you remember the Willy Wonka chocolate factory thing in the UK that happened or? Like yeah, yeah. the okay, fake yeah. thing. She met at Disney World the the Oompa Loompa chick. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. And the chick was with all of her friends and like I think some like producers like some like and Lily basically just swooped in and joined her friend group and like it was so weird. She was like in all the pictures. She was like she was just just tagged along and tried to leech off of this person. And that's how I felt like it would probably be if like if we ever did like an actual. What? What are you talking about? She met some people that. Uh, what the f dude i don't even know how I, I don't even know if i have the brain power left to even interpret the idiot thing you just said she might have been an annoying tag along but like you're trying to throw predatory shit onto this so it's like okay so she met up with some other people when they had that weird willy wonka ai experience thing and she hung out with them if they didn't want to they just said hey we don't really want to hang out with you this is just for friends Oh, it's called setting a boundary. Collab. She would want to basically parade me around like some puppet. Just be like, oh, look who I have here. And I'm just <laughs> okay. like, no, I would just want to be there. This sounds like, it sounds like Colleen is deeply insecure about herself. This is, this actually might be a big thing. This is probably the most charitable thing I could ever say about Colleen. It sounds like she is so deeply insecure that anytime somebody might like her, she interprets that as that person trying to take advantage of her in some capacity. <laughs> And that's the only uh, perspective I can possibly give her any charitability on, because then it would explain why she's having such a negative uh, interpretation of these events, because she's deeply insecure. There is like friends. That's why I would like not even want to want to do that. Yeah. Side note: She tried to get a foursome. You don't. You don't know if I that's had no true. Idea. You're just making. You're just asserting that without any actual proof. Oh, that was her plan. Like I don't, I don't like I, I'm in, I'm but in okay. disbelief about that. Like she like because you're making it up. I don't know how I feel. Like I felt like it was coercive, but then I'm like, oh. how is it coercive? Explain, define coercion to me. That's what. I, but then I'm like, oh, I I coercion is threatening. You have to threat coercive behaviors when you threaten somebody. Just to be clear, how is it coercive? I felt like I was going crazy for two weeks straight. Yes, yes thank you. Me too. And I'll like hurry up and come. Hurry up and get over here. Yeah, and what then the fuck's I'm like, oh, wrong with her? Is doing this to multiple people? Yeah, to multiple people. To me. You, you literally said earlier that you felt like she wanted you to come there really quickly. She didn't even, you didn't, can't even communicate to us that it was, what are you talking about? You're trying to, okay. Now, now all of a sudden it's absolutely, she was definitely trying to get me here as soon as possible. Before you're like, I felt like she was trying to get here quickly. And you've decided because you're in an affirming space with somebody else that anything you say goes. This is embarrassing for you guys. Me and you. Oh, me that would likely see you over there. That's incredible. Did you see her response video? Oh, uh, yeah. It was actually surprisingly good. Have you seen, uh, I must have, put it, I seen her response video because she's put it in her Discord and told everyone to look at it. When I was watching her response video last night, I immediately, I opened my face like, because it was such a bad response. I had it was unironically probably the best response I've ever seen to any controversy that I've ever seen in my entire fucking career as a TikToker, which isn't very long. It's only about three years, but still it was. The, you couldn't have had a fucking lawyer write up a better response. It was insane. Even her response to your uh, wife messaging her 
Oh, you made Lily uncomfortable? Or excuse me, you made Colleen uncomfortable? And Lily's saying, I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. It was insanely perfect, actually. Like, so shockingly. Shockingly. This person could be a fucking PR representative based on the, the, how good their fucking responses are. I have no idea, like, how, who signed off on this? Because she completely tells lie after lie. I could just prove you wrong. She should. What, what, what did she say that was wrong? wrong? Over and over. Because in your video, you showed nothing that was wrong. You just said, she censored the OF part and grooming. If you can show that it's wrong, then show it. Why haven't you done that yet? Because you can't. Over and over again. It's just, I can't. Like, I was going to say, like, I told her no, like, three times. But she still said So prove it. So prove that. You couldn't show that. Prove it. I don't trust you. You don't know how to interpret basic words. How would I ever trust your perspective? A link to this place and also said it would be mutually beneficial financially. If she said that same thing to me, because I told her that, like, I'm like, look, I'll... Yeah, that makes sense. She was going to do it through this, like, I don't know, LGBTQ OnlyFans organization. Okay. If I do come over, I don't need to do that. I can sort on my own team, my own resources. I can sort all my shit. We're not going go to go... What I what I love about this is that they're trying to make this argument that Lily was trying to lead them into doing OnlyFans. If she was trying to lead you into doing that, then why would she tell you before you got there? If she was trying to lead you into doing OF content, then why wouldn't she just wait till you got there and said, oh, by the way, you want to film some content? Let's do it. And then be really pushy. Why would she ask you when you're hundreds or thousands of miles away from her where she can't do anything to you at all if you say no? And then when you say no, she does nothing to you. You not once have any of them said when she didn't when I wouldn't do this, she did this to me. It makes no sense. And here's another thing too. I think you make even more money than me on OF, to be honest. I'm okay. top zero point three, I think. So I was gonna say she Great. only makes like five hundred oh, or less a month on, on OnlyFans. She's like a nobody compared to either of us, which is why I thought it was yeah. funny when she when she said it'd be mutually beneficial. Because there would be only yeah, one This is like a literal episode of Mean Girls here. Oh person benefiting from this and it's not either yeah. of us it's it's lily yeah. i thought the same well you would have content but okay i mean it's fine that you want to like make fun of her because you don't think she would help your content that's fine but like it doesn't mean you get to call her a predator because i asked you i was like oh hey like but she was pitching it to me like to be for financially for both of us which then i was like i found that strange because i was like like on only you don't have any fun but it was weird that she kept pitching it that particular way because I, oh, yeah, I asked her i was like oh you know like how are you doing financially and all that sort of shit and apparently she makes the most of her money off tiktok i think she makes in the range between five to ten grand in creator fund off of tiktok because what she does is she specifically makes her videos a minute long and that's the that's the point where you start making money off those videos you have to make a minute long or longer video i think she specifically wants people to put like hateful comments because yep. She, she wants That's people funny. to scroll while I wouldn't doubt that she is hate farming for attention. I wouldn't doubt that. Um, because I hate her. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to amuse something. But this idea that you make that she's not making, um, she's not making five to ten thousand dollars a month on TikTok. Just to be clear, this is just a little offhanded comment. Um, TikTok's monetization isn't amazing. It's not bad at all. But basically, the way that TikTok's monetization works is only videos over a minute will monetize you. And uh, once you hit $4,000 in a month, your RPM drops to 10% of what it was before that. So basically, um, not every view is counted on a video, right? Only about half of your views actually make it to be counted uh, as for your RPM. But basically, after all that math is done, I've noticed about every million views I get per month is about $500. After you hit $4,000, every million views you get a month is $50. So you would need, what is that, 8 million views to be able to hit the cap. And then every 8 million views is only $400 after that instead of 4,000. So Lily is not making five to $10,000 a month. Lily is most, especially since she posts like three videos a month, she's probably hitting about four to thousand dollars or so. Five to ten is a drastic exaggeration of what she's actually doing. It doesn't matter that much, but we're already on the topic of the conversation. The video is going, so the video just keeps going. Yeah. And then I was being led to believe that you two were like super close. The thing is, 
we were close as in like me and JC would just pop in on her live streams and that's it. I wouldn't really talk that much. To be honest, I never really trusted her Lily's Lovelies that much because every single time there's a controversy or someone leaves the community and talks shit about them, they've always like cult like defended Lily. So I didn't really trust him. So we were more like acquaintances, but I tried to give her advice like whenever I could, like if she oh like looked like she needed some advice. It was not the level of, so hey, let's go stupid. have sex together and film it on camera. It was not that level at all. Yeah, no, because like we were just, I was just talking to her randomly <laughs> about stuff. And it was out of the blue. It was like the second or third day I talked to her. And she just messaged me being like, hey, like, would you collab on OnlyFans? I have an OnlyFans now. And I was like, what? Huh? And then, oh, like you said, like, I even asked her. I was like, oh, yeah, I've been, you know, if I did come to America ever again, I, I actually was thinking of going to San Francisco. So maybe because I heard that, you know, Lily lives in San Fran. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I could come visit you in San Fran. But she was real particular about saying no. And that it has to be Vegas. I think it's literally. Maybe it's like a legal thing. I, it sounds like you were open to the conversation about doing OF with her, the way that you communicated that. Really because of that studio. Whenever she's like saying- RPM means like rewards per mile. That's all it means. Oh, I just wanted to go to Vegas for all this other stuff. No, that's secondary. Her primary yeah. interest in Vegas is that porn studio. She, I think- uh, she, I, I know, yeah. okay. But now I'm a bit nervous. Mm -hmm. I didn't look into it, but now I'm like- So why didn't you just say, no, I don't want to do porn with you, but we can meet up and hang out or something like that. I don't know. Shit, so she was probably trying to set up some wicked hardcore shit. She was, like- Oh, oh Jesus. And I was telling JC this. It really feels like it's like impossible for her to have a normal just friendship or acquaintance with like a attractive trans woman without trying to pursue yeah. her. Because that's like, I think- the fact that she was just trying to just really be pushy about it. She, you didn't, she wasn't really pushy about it at all. You haven't even shown that. Holy fuck. And the fact that she asked so soon after even meeting you, and then she met you at like a vulnerable moment. That's pretty bad. Oh, oh. Oh, a vulnerable moment. Okay, this is exhausting. I hope this is over soon. This is so fucking boring. I can't remember the context, but oh yeah, Ava, I think Ava blew up at me. Yeah. And then, um, and then because she said that I was being too trans, and it was, uh, I think that's silly. I don't think you're it's very like, silly. Like, but, but, and then Lily hit me up weirdly. I thought it was around then. And weirdly, that's okay. I, we've already talked about this. They didn't hit you up in a weird way. They messaged you because you were being bullied. <laughs> like, uh, and they get bullied too. Um, the whole thing is very strange. And I want to write down a few clear points of things that happened. But it was I've never felt this pushed to do something. I felt <sighs> like I've said no so many times. And she just exactly. You didn't. That's why you keep saying you felt like you said no. You've already communicated to us that what you said was, oh, I get a little, I get motion sickness on planes and I don't have a passport. If this is the most pushy you've ever been hit with in your life, don't leave the house because you're incapable of interacting with normal human beings in, in the everyday world. You didn't even once communicate to her that you said no based on what you're saying. So far, you've been talking for 11 fucking minutes. So, I don't, it's okay. Good stuff. Exactly. This is a pattern. She has a pattern of doing this. Yeah, a pattern. Like, She's a fucking predator, guys. Wait a minute. The fact that I was like, yeah, people give me shit. People can fuck people over. But the fact that she's doing the exact same shit. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It felt really strange. Mm -hmm. yeah, so strange. And, and Dr. Strange, even. Now I'm going to have a look into that studio because she basically outright said that she wouldn't meet me in San Fran. I, would, like, I don't want to tell you what to do, but like, maybe just cut off, cut off communication with her for, for a bit while you figure this out. If she does want it, I love this because this is actually kind of fucked up. So what's happening now is Colleen is like reaching out to other people behind the scenes and trying to get them to not be friends with Lily anymore. That's fucked up. Talk on the phone again. Record that shit because she she has a pattern of wanting to talk on the phone and just completely just wants to have no evidence at all. <laughs> I love how the pattern is talking on the phone so that there's no evidence when you could actually very easily record discord just to be clear if i was gonna do something where i wanted to uh talk on the phone to, to reduce the chance of evidence i wouldn't use discord you can very easily i'm using a fucking obs right now to, to record you literally just have to do that on a discord call okay but it's much more likely that she asked you on a voice call, because it's easier to communicate something a little bit more sensitive, like a collaboration for OnlyFans. Because again, when you text message, you can't communicate your tone of voice. I don't know if you know this, because it's a text message. A text message. Well, she did. Oh my god, I didn't realize. She didn't. Oh god, my god. She got me on a phone call and then dropped a lot of us. And this is not the first time she's done this. She's done this with her, with one of her ex mods too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was forcing me for a phone call too. Like, mm -hmm. I, cause I'm like, I'm busy, you know, like, I'm, I'm busy, I've got shit going on. She's like, no, like, just call now. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. why? But like, I understand, like, with me and you right now. You're sitting here trying to make it seem like you weren't interested in talking to her, and then and you just admitted to us that in the conversation that you were talking about meeting her in San Francisco. So. That was a whole different. Yeah. Ball game. But, 
that I, I was so confused and like I was like this if everything felt so weird but I was like eh, it just can't it can't be anything more than just this right and then so hearing this I'm like I just, fuck I'm like really what's going on well, and why don't you yeah. live over there and like <laughs> I've been in the discord for for a while and she mm -hmm. she is very open with how she talks about sex she'll just randomly talk about who cares I don't care so you're in a discord that she openly talks about sex you don't leave the discord and then you're surprised when she asks if you want to do sex stuff Here's my question. Are there minors in the Discord or does she do uh, does she go through a reasonable amount to see if there are or are not minors in the Discord? Because then we have a problem. Show me that about it in our Discord lives. And I've always but then you're complicit because you're part of her Discord. So I just thought that was really, really strange. Oh, I gotta read. That sex. She'll just randomly talk about it in her Discord lives and in her Discord lives. OK, so when she's doing some form of live streaming, she talks about sex. Great. Don't care. Again, you're an OnlyFans creator. Grow up. Be a little more mature. If you're not a, if you're not mature enough to have an adult conversation, stop having them. Go talk about fucking Bluey or something. I don't really know. I've always thought that was really, really strange that she was always yeah. talking about that. Like, because like people are like at work listening to her and she then she yeah. just... You know what they could do? They could turn her off if they don't want to listen to us. Isn't that crazy? Is that interesting? I talk about my balls and farting all the time on my stream. That's so weird that you don't turn it off, dude. The fuck am I not forcing you to fucking be here? Talks about this kind of shit. She doesn't and you know people like it when I talk about that. What they don't like is when we talk about boring fucking people that were making up sexual assault controversy for attention. Realize that sex is like, it's not just like a random like, oh, it's, just, it's not just like a collab. No, you have to know this person. You have to trust this person. Yeah. You, yeah. Sex is a collab. <laughs> trust and have sort of good vibes with them. So like it, the chemistry looks right on camera and you can fully trust them not to. So sorry, you guys were friends with her for like six months or a year. And you don't think that that constitutes her ability to be like, oh, I think we have good vibes and we're friends. Let me see if you want to collab. Gotcha. Take advantage, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But don't feel that way. And I'll, I'll be trying to say no. And she keeps. Thank God OnlyFans, like, sex work is something that is, exists. Because without it, these two would be homeless. Because they clearly have no ability to function in the real world. If these people had to fucking uh, take orders at a, a cash register, they would have melted down. They would have cried the second that the customer got a little, you know, negative with them. These people, these people are incapable of existing. It's nothing to do with them being trans, by the way. It has everything to do with them being too fucking sensitive. Okay, it's fucking crazy. She's pushing for it. Like, I, when I see my passport, but at this point, I have a passport in my hand, and she's like, we're just gonna get you. It was strange, though, because on her TikTok lives, oh it sounded God. like you were a shoe in to go. Yeah, no. What? So she was, what? like, saying, she's she preemptively what? saying that you were, like, you were, she... that's insane. That's I tried crazy. To tell her. I told her, I was like, look, like, maybe next year, you know? Yeah. Maybe. You said maybe next year! Every moment that these people talk, they, they make Lily look better and better. I, I thought I said no so many times. You just told us that you. one of the things you said was maybe next year. If you say maybe next year, if somebody says, hey, maybe another time, does that communicate a, 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 like a no to you? If I was like, hey, man, you want to play some uh, video games with me? And they're like, oh, maybe, maybe tomorrow, maybe next time. Does that communicate to me that they don't want to do it? Or does that just communicate to me that they can't do it now? Give you time to think about that very obvious answer. Maybe, maybe next year, like I could be feeling a bit better, and yeah, but no, it, it, that wasn't acceptable. Like it was like, no, come now. Why can't you come now? But I don't want to tell you. Leave me alone. Like you don't need or well, have a right oh to know. God. I feel bad. Hey, maybe next year. Oh, how come you don't want to do it now? You like how the regular normal person interpretation is like, oh, that makes sense. Hey, I don't want to do this today. Oh, how come? What's going on, man? Oh, well, I got this going. Oh, okay. Why don't you just say I'm not really interested in doing OnlyFans collaboration content with you? And they, oh, why? I think you're ugly. I don't know. Say something. <laughs> like, grow up. Just fucking talk like a person. Because it's like she's getting played by everyone. And then I'm like, surely she's not being this manipulative. Yes. Like, Did you see her live? When she just said that she didn't feel like she was being manipulative. Now, all of a sudden, it's manipulative. And she was immediately, like, reacting to my thing. I didn't yeah. say that, no. Because, like, What's she's... Wrong with that? And That's what I do. When people make content, I react to it. What's wrong with it? And I was like, oh, what the God? I've been thinking on that. God, she said she just assumed all trans women were poly. Wait, what? That's not actually at all what she said. <laughs> That's not even close. The, so again, we've we've met in another point where Colleen's either incapable of interpreting information or a liar. What she actually said was that all the trans people she knows are polyamorous. Now, does that mean all trans people are polyamorous? No, of course not. But to assert that she said all people are polyamorous is wrong and it's deceptive. Or you're just being stupid. I don't really know. What she said is in her life experience, all the trans people she knows are polyamorous. So she kind of assumed that you weren't monogamous. It doesn't really matter because she asked you to do content and you said no. And that's where it ends. Well, it doesn't. You said to virtue signal on the internet. But there's nothing wrong with that. All gay people I know have the lisp. Doesn't mean all gay people have the lisp.
All the gay people I know have a gay lisp. Okay. Am I saying all of them have that? No, but a lot of them do, and I don't quite understand it, but there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> like, okay. Cool. Yeah. Like, she straight up just said that. Like, no. No, absolutely fucking not. Oh, my God. Like, people were she telling me, like, oh, but she sent you, like, a thoughtful a thoughtful apology she or whatever. Did. Did. I did not accept that apology because I knew she would turn around and just lie about it if she was ever to talk about it in public. But she didn't lie about anything. About anything like I knew she would do that. But that's why I even, like, went public with it and didn't even reply to her about her apology because I didn't freaking believe it. I had trust issues. Like, I've been fucked over by everyone. Like, What did I say before? That they are deeply insecure. I have trust issues. There you go. So now what's happening is you have some kind of an issue from your past, which I'm sure is valid that you have it. And now you are taking that and you are asserting it into this situation. You have to understand that your issues are not everybody else's issues. You having trust issues or being deeply insecure about things, causing you to have incorrect interpretations, it's not how the world works. The world works, it's you and it's the world. And you have to understand that while we should be sensitive to some of your problems, you can't, not everybody can contextualize your entire life when they, without knowing all the specifics. That's a you problem for having trust issues or being insecure or whatever you are. You need to communicate that to people or you can just not, which is what I do. I don't usually communicate that to people. And then I just set firm boundaries. I've been fucked over by everyone, so that means must mean that you fucked me over too. It's called a self-fulfilling prophecy. So, does not matter. I don't care. Yeah. I don't trust someone, and by the sounds of it, I didn't look into that because she was very pushy on that, that space too. And because I told her, I was like, look, I'll just sort out a really nice hotel and I'll get us, I'll, I'll have everything. Don't you worry. Like, no, I'm doing, I do. Like, this is what I do for a crowd. Like, fine, I got it. She's like, no, we're going to this weird dungeon thing. And now that I, and then apparently they are allowed to use the footage of us too. And I'm like, well, I don't like that because now I have. Wait, 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 wait. So now this person is admitting that they were having a debate. Wait, hold on. Did you, just, I'm pretty sure that she just admitted that she would be open to doing OnlyFans collaboration. And then you're having a whole conversation about it. And apparently this other dungeon thing would have had the rights to some of your content. So you didn't want to do it because of that. So now you're telling us that you were actually open to doing OF with her, but you didn't want this dungeon thing to have the rights to your content. Holy fuck licensed footage out there of me no thank you uh-huh oh so my god she was this is just a, every second of this is a fucking admittance that lily is innocent i think it was like four limb bondage saint andrew's cross you know hogtied and i'm like oh wait hang on yeah holy shit like, i'm not gonna do a full loss of control around someone like that lily's talked about okay. her um kinks before on like her videos before cool. uh, lily likes oh. to be very dominant and likes okay. to pin people down and honestly her kinks okay. sound like kind of a rape fetish to be honest who cares who cares so again, I want to be clear, v extraordinarily immature. And I'm just going to be very real. My wife and I do a little bit of CNC. If you don't know what that is, you don't have to know what it is. It's just not something that you're into. It's consensual non-consent. It's very normal for people to have fetishes like this. And as long as you express them in a healthy, consensual, meaningful way, there is nothing wrong with that. Oh, I think she has. And the reason I'm going in on this is because like, Obviously, everything that she can take and misinterpret is what she's going to do. It's okay that you're very vanilla. There's nothing wrong with that. But like you're now trying to assert that a person who is trying to might want to engage in some kind of CNC, they're open about it. They're honest about it. You know about it from their content. They want to uh, work with a particular institution or whatever that is very hardcore. You have every ability to have informed consent on what you do or don't want to do. Okay. Is asking you to do something, you have full understanding of what's happening, and you're like, oh no, it's too much for me. There's nothing wrong with that. But now you're trying to make it seem like they're a predator because of a fetish that they have that a lot of people, a surprising amount of people have this. You'd be shocked how many people have this type of a fetish. So it's not predatory. You're being, you're, again, it's just, you're being stupid. And again, I'm surprised somebody who does like, who does this type of sex work would actually just be so ignorant to like these types of conversations and these types of communities. Um, that sounds like she was, that sounded sort of like she was explaining what she would do to me. And it sounded sort of. What's crazy is she's explaining. So again, this it's it's clear this person that this Cassie person cr invited the conversation. She was fine with it like almost the entire time. And then once she watched Colleen's video, she decided she's like, oh wait a minute, everything's different now because of the context of a liar. 
right? You had a conversation that was explicit about it. You knew exactly what was going to happen. And you said, no, there's nothing wrong with that. That She's like known, like she's been aware of you and has been following you on OF for <sighs> Who cares? quite a while. And like, the fact that she sought Who you out cares? when you were vulnerable and then, oh immediately, my and then immediately suggested it is insane. Oh, they both had a, they both had a arguably trauma bond together of being trans people getting hate online. That's crazy enough. It's not that deep. I knew who I was before that. Day. She talked about it. Like she, it's crazy that she, me, the person that's top zero zero three percent on OnlyFans, that she would know who I was before we started talking. Oh, it's crazy that you would know me. Oh, I'm a fucking god decorator. What the fuck are you talking about? It's crazy. You just told us that you were like one of the top fucking nth of a percent of the fucking creators on OnlyFans, and you think it's crazy that she already knew who you were. That's insane. Work. That's fucking insane. The fact that you would utter those words out loud confidently blows shit into my anus and out of my mouth. It's fucking crazy. It's fu it's fucking insane that you would even utter those words to me. She, she knew who I was as a creator. You're one of the most, from your perspective, popular con like fucking OnlyFans creators that exist. And you're surprised. You're shocked. You're appalled that she knew who you were. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ. You talk talked about it multiple times. Oh. oh. On a Discord, she's oh, talked about it, yeah. Like, what? Hey, what's up, Ryan Beard? I'm gonna read this out. Let me know if you want me to cut it out of the video, because it's gonna go up probably on TikTok and YouTube. I don't like Lily Tino, same. But there's a trend of a trombo or trans women who pass and more conventionally attractive, painting less well-passing trans women as predators. Absolutely. Like, Lily is a less-passing trans person. There's nothing wrong with that. And I absolutely think that that would be a factor in this situation. <laughs> Especially given the other context that we have already. Yeah. I feel quite taken like, advantage of with it. He literally talked about you before. Like, there's literally <gasps> discords of like 10 people in it, me and JC being in, in the room. And she was talking about how she was like, hey, look at this. Like, the, you should look up this uh, hot trans girl that I'm following, uh, Cassie Moans. What? And then she was like, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. So you're saying that you created the comfortable space for her to have these open conversations with you and you want us to expect that you wouldn't be complicit in this behavior, which by the way, isn't inappropriate, but you're trying to make it seem inappropriate. So you're in a discord with somebody who's constantly talking about their sexual fetishes and was openly talking about how they knew you and that they subscribed to your OnlyFans and you were part of this community. You didn't say anything to her at all up until this point, but you think the behavior was bad. So what you're saying is silence is violence, guys. Explain to me how you don't look bad based on your own moral assertion of the situation. <gasps> Shitting and farting. Yeah, I used to follow her on, on OnlyFans in front of like multiple people. And she, yes, you said it was 10 people, so it would be nine other people. Like multiple people knew about this. Who cares? Then she told me one day, like I think on a different call, uh, she was telling me how you were going through that thing with uh, Chris Tyson. Not too long okay. after, I see you pop up in the, in the Discord. I'm like, oh, that was, that's a coincidence. You so you, there, you I just don't believe you're that stupid. To the, to the that's a coincidence. Because again, you're trying to make it like, dude. You guys all were fucking trans people that have like the uh, I guess you'd say trauma of being harassed and bullied for being trans. And she invited somebody who was being bullied by somebody else into the Discord. That's your community of people. Yeah, I was playing Overwatch with this person, and then they invited that person to the, the, the Discord. It's like well, that's weird. It's a gaming Overwatch Discord, but like, why would they invite the Overwatch player to Discord? When you look at it like that, you're just like, oh, wait, this is preposterous. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's very possible that, that their Colleen is just trying to be seen as one of the good trans people by disavowing Lily Tino. You don't need to do that. Lily's fucking... A <laughs> I don't even want to say anything. Not, I don't, I'm not a particular fan, but... The thing with Ava, Chris, whatever, that happened, and then later that day, I was added... It's not because they're like not non-passing necessarily it's just because i do think that they get a lot of hate online and they they've they've spun into that and now they are kind of hate uh farming for attention and i don't really uh, pre i don't really like hate farming pathetic behavior like that that's what makes me not like lily um as a content creator so but to the discord and yeah like it was oh you poor thing come join this community they know how you feel we'll look <laughs> after you now but that's the case is it not knowing that you're here, I that's why Lily was invited to the Discord in the first place, no? I didn't know she knew me before that, and now it feels really not right. 
That's why I was even aware of you in the first place. Is because it's because oh. Lily talked about you. Oh shit! Whoa, yeah, I've been aware shit, of you for like dude. a few months now Whoa. before like you even joined the Discord or anything Whoa. because of Lily talking about you. Wow. I thought the Whoa. day I joined, I thought you must have found me like a day or two. No, wow. like I like we've known you wow. for a while. Oh man, we've known you for a while. You be one of the biggest content creators on OF. Oh, is that crazy that we found you on there? That's fucking crazy, dude. Oh wow. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh fuck. no. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna put on a performative surprise shocked tone of voice oh so it feels very she, calculated right why hasn't she told me that because and i even told her how this happens to me all the time like people are me hey i jerked off to you for like a couple months now welcome to the discord <laughs> so like if people um i just don't even i don't even know how to uh, respond to this anymore because it's just so stupid it's just like what else do you say of course like if somebody if i joined a discord and i was going to do something with people um and they found out they like knew who i was you think i'm gonna get like morally offended you're famous in some you're a micro celebrity it's not people are gonna know who you are dude like it's, girl, what i would call guys and girls dude whatever you people are gonna know who you are okay like a set of friends right mm -hmm. and then the second one of them gets me alone they go hey so um i actually watch your content and then i'm like oh so you're trying to fuck me yes and, and so often and i'm like oh this is the exact same but this is the first time it's happened to me with someone like lily mm -hmm. But if someone had knows about me beforehand, then talks to me and does, <sighs> like, you know, like, it did not feel like that at all. Mm -hmm. That's how I felt. I feel like she saw me as like a, a larger creator who uh, had an OF and she like wanted to be friendly t towards me for, for months until she finally just striked and was like, uh, it would be struck. Or maybe um, she was your friend. And then at some point she's going to make a oh. OnlyFans and she's like, oh, you do it too. Maybe we could help each other out. Like you could help me get off the ground. Not everything has to be so magically calculated and predatory, okay? It's not that fucking deep. Hey. And by the way, as a creator, you're going to have to get over it. Because the reality is, is there's going to be some people that are not going to want that are going to want to be your friends because you're another creator. And it's going to upset you because it's going to make it more difficult to find genuine friendships. And that's just a part of being the creator. And you're going to have to suck a fart on it. And you're going to have to... <gasps> grow up and mature and realize that that's an unfortunate reality. But I very highly doubt that she was friends with you for however many months in a community of trans people that would um, bond over there, you know, how they were treated as for being trans. I, I have a hard time believing that she did that for months just to spring on you that she's doing OnlyFans. What's more likely is Lily is probably falling off as a content creator and she's trying to do another uh, revenue uh, generating avenue. Hey, I know you moved countries to be with JC, but let's get you to come back here so you can fuck me. Jesus. Wow. So this is, I, I actually, my brain rotted through. These people are fucking insufferable.